This video is a short review of the Data Movie plugin controls. More details on the way to code all controls may be found in the companion tutorial of this video. Let's start with the menu. Each menu item is possibly composed of several columns, and each column is a, a standard template that comes with the data moving plugin. There is also a standard row uh, overall row templates that arrange all columns of the of the of all menu items in a standard way. However, the user may define its own custom templates. Most of the item this of this uh, menu have just one column, but we may have added, uh, for instance, an image column to improve the user interaction. This, uh, this menu item has two columns, and both of them are, are custom, custom, custom columns. This menu item instead is a completely custom overall row template. The menu can be customized in several ways. For instance, in our case, the menu is uh, an horizontal menu, but uh, it may be transformed easily with, by changing just, just one, uh, one setting into a, a vertical menu. Uh, of, and uh, and uh, and uh, in our case, the menu op items open on uh, on mouse over, but uh, uh, the menu can be configured to 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 open items on uh, mouse click or on uh, on uh, on touch because all controls of the data moving plugin are completely compatible with touch devices. However, for small for small mobile devices, it is better to use a, a multi-page menu in the style of the, the, the jQuery mobile styling framework. More information on the on how to build a similar menu may be found on the three iterator video and companion tutorial of uh, uh, this series. Let's move to, to to the grids. Let's start with a simple read-only grid. The data moving plugin offers four types of grids. Two are server side grids, and two of them are client side grids. Server side grids build their HTML on the server side, while client side grids build the HTML dynamically on the client side with the help of client templates. The advantage of server Server side controls that their HTML is completely visible to all search engines and uh, they require less, uh, less powerful client devices because most of the job is done on the server side. However, client side uh, the, uh, controls offer more flexibility and uh, uh, more possibility to interact with other. Uh, elements on the HTML page. All grids offer sorting, paging, and filtering, and offer also the possibility to show all uh, item, all uh, items, uh, data items in a detailed uh, window that may be customized in several ways. We may provide the a query callback that is involved each time the user perform a, a query operation. For instance, if, if we if we change page, in our case the, the callback sh 
show a dialog on the on the on the page and uh, if we uh, click uh, that we don't want to go on the operation is aborted and uh, all UI elements on the screen reversed back to their previous state in our case uh, the pager moved to page number two if we uh, decide to, to to avoid to that we don't want to go on the page revert back to his uh, previous value the same happens with all other devices let's try a filtering operation this time we say yes as you can see there was a, a, a page refresh because the query went to the server and we received a new, a new page. The processing on the server side is, uh, is straightforward. The server side controller receives a query object that uh, it can uh, easily apply to any IA queryable. Let's move to a to a grid that allow also modification on the data item. We can, we can both add, remove and modify data items. Modification can be done either online or with the help of the detail window. can also add or remove uh, remove other rows okay uh, let's move to client side client side controls this is a grid that uh, uses a normal controller to process both queries and modification done to the data items Let's see how this works. This is a controller that takes care of uh, processing the query. As you can see, the processing is uh, is uh, is straightforward. Once we receive the the query object, we have just to apply it to uh, to the our to an either an i enumerable or to an i queryable to to have all uh, all uh, all data filtered sorted or uh, paged let's go on okay let's remove the breakpoint so as you can see there is no page refresh because this time all communication takes place in json format However, all client-side grid have also the possibility to submit data in the same way the, the server-side grid do. And uh, uh, um, by causing a, a normal page refresh. However, this is not advised. The, the, the better performance can be obtained in, 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 in this way. Let's move to a another client side grid that this time uses a, a, a web API controller to process all queries let's try for instance a sort operation we are right here and this time the processing is really immediate the the the, the our our data are transformed in a high queryable because they are just a fake database and then we, uh, the query is applied automatically by because of the queryable attribute we have uh, we have put on the on the on the action need. Okay we can modify some uh, data item this way, this way, this way interesting feature of detail windows that all operation can be undone, redone, ok, 
okay so if we save everything and we can submit everything to the to the server okay we can give a look to the so the server received just a a the change set that is uh, all the, the list of all elements that have been deleted, inserted, or modified. In our case, we just modified one element, so our change set contains just one element into the, the modified uh, list. The data moving plugin offers also a, a, a tree view and a tree and a tree read. This on the left you can see a tree read and on the right you can see a, a, a tree view. We can move uh, branches and uh, also on the we can do this also on the on the on the tree read. For more information on uh, this, uh, this control, you may refer to a previous video that we dedicated explicitly uh, to the tree view. The tree view is available also for uh, mobile devices. In fact, uh, is completely compatible with uh, the jQuery mobile fra framework, styling framework. And it performs well also in, in small devices. Okay, we can also in this case we can move branches and see many operations. Also, we can add the paging, sorting, and and uh, filtering also to 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 review all two three grids. Moreover, all, all controls we have used to, to in the in the toolbars or uh, in the rows of our uh, grid, the three viewer three controls can also leave uh, uh, standalone. For instance, the pager can be used also without uh, being associated to any to any grid. Okay, and uh, the same is for buttons and uh, uh, image controls. Okay, we have seen in the previous detail, we have seen an image control. Uh, uh, another interesting feature is the way, for instance, a pager or uh, a sort control or a filter interacts with the, its, uh, its control. Let's give a look how a a pager is added to a grid. We need just to add a pager. Uh, the, this name we see uh, uh, as argument of the add page column is a template that specifies the, the look, just the look of the of the pager. Once we add add a pager to a, a control, it uh, interacts, start communicate with. Uh, the controls and uh, uh, is immediately available to work as a, a pager without any 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 hard plumbing. That's all. For more details, please refer to the tutorial associated to this video.